Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. Just a quick breakdown of this Dragon Ball Heroes trailer as it reveals Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta powering up against Broly. Not Broly from past Dragon Ball Heroes trailers, but Dragon Ball Super Broly Broly. So yes, Yamamura redesigned Broly for the Dragon Ball Heroes video game commercials and, you know, you can draw comparisons as you wish, you know, whether, you know, Vishantani design looks better or whether Yamamura's redesigned version looks better. I'm not really up for that debate, I don't really care. I do think Shintani design has a lot of traits that are better than Yamamura's redesign, but again, Yamamura is just redesigning uh, Shintani's Broly because he needs to, you know, make it all uh, seamless and consistent with the Dragon Ball Heroes aesthetic, so it would make sense that he would redesign Shintani's Broly for the Dragon Ball Heroes commercial, that makes sense. I'm not here to criticize that at all, even though I do prefer Shintani design, but that's just me. I am here to talk about this commercial, this Dragon Ball Heroes trailer, this Super Dragon Ball Heroes trailer uh, in particular, and how stock standard it is. I mean, I'm kind of tired of seeing the Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta poses every time, the same stock standard, you know, fists are, you know, hands are clenched, up in the air, you know, screaming. It's just the same stock standard stuff every time and it doesn't look original and it looks tiresome and I'm honestly kind of over us, you know, with Dragon Ball Heroes. I mean, Dragon Ball Heroes isn't supposed to be, you know, um, that's animation heavy, but um, yeah, it's just not supposed to be a very complex uh, promotional anime and especially the trailers for the video game. Uh, they're not supposed to be that complex, but still this is kind of a tad lazy. Um, but yeah, that's just it. Um, this new Dragon Ball Heroes game promotion, it just kind of uh, got me uh, just thinking about Yamamuro and his sort of stiff uh, poses and stuff, and it's like, I'm just very excited for this Dragon Ball Super Broly film, because, you know, if you see Dragon Ball Super Broly, the trailer, you know, the first trailer, and even in the second trailer, there's a lot of creativity with how the shots are, um, you know, like, put together, and how, you know, the shot composition is, and the creativity of the fight choreography, and all of that kind of stuff just makes the film better, and the direction, it just makes the film much better and much more engaging to watch. And I'm not saying Dragon Ball Heroes, the promotional anime, or the promotional commercials, they look terrible, but it is a step down, and of course, Dragon Ball Super Rolly film is a film, so it's kind of difficult to compare, but, you know, it's just night and day, and the film is a film, yes I get that, but that doesn't excuse the fact that Dragon Ball Heroes kinda looks piss poor at sometimes. Not piss poor in the, fa in, in the fact that it looks terrible, it just looks so stock standard and boring with the same poses and the same, you know, facial expressions, it's getting a little tiresome. So, and this commercial just sparked it in me to make this video. But I do like the redesigned Broly, I think he looks kind of cool. He kind of has his own look going with Yamamoto's design, even though I do prefer Shintani's design, his original design for the revamped Broly, um, that's kind of weird to say, uh, the original design for the revamped Broly, but anyway, um, you know, even though I do like Shintani's design a bit more, I like what Yamamoto did with um, Dragon Ball Super's, uh, you know, Broly. Uh, I think he looks kind of cool. And uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I do like the design, not much as, you know, not as much as Shintani's, but I do like the design nevertheless. I just wanted to talk about, you know, the animation or lack thereof and break it down and sort of, uh, you know, really talk about how sort of stock standard the animation is in Dragon Ball Heroes, you know, the promotional anime and also just the promotional trailers that we get, you know, the 30 second spots uh, here and there, it's kind of stock standard stuff. Now I can excuse the commercials way more because they're just commercials, they need to just be shut out and do what they're supposed to do and yeah, they're not supposed to look like grand masterpieces, but, you know, it's the same with Dragon Ball Heroes and sometimes with Dragon Ball Super, you know, especially the early episodes, it, everything just looks so stiff and stock standard, and again, it's not like a huge terrible thing, but it is just worth noting, so yeah, that's gonna do it for me, please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time.